the arse carrying the image. A certain man put an image on the back of his ass to take it to one of the temples of the town. As they went along the road, all the people they met uncovered and bowed their heads out of reverence for the image. But the ass thought they were doing it out of respect of him and began to give himself airs accordingly. At last he became so conceited that he imagined he could do as he liked and by way of protest against the load he was carrying, he came to a full stop and flatly declined to proceed any further. The driver, finding him so obstinate, hit him hard and long with his stick, saying the while, Oh, you dunder-headed idiot! Do you suppose it's come to this that men pay worship to an ass? Rude shocks await those who take themselves the credit that is due to others. An Athenian and a Theban were on the road together and passed the time in conversation, as is the way of travellers. After discussing a variety of subjects, they began to talk about heroes, a topic that tends to be more fertile than edifying. Each of them was lavish in his praises of the heroes of his own city, until eventually the Theban asserted that Hercules was the greatest hero who had ever lived on earth, and now occupied a foremost place among the gods, whilst the Athenian insisted that Theseus was far superior, for his fortune had been in every way supremely blessed, whereas Hercules had at one time been forced to act as a servant. As he gained his point, for he was a very glib fellow, like the Athenians said at the Theban, he was no match for him in talking, cried at last in some disgust, All right, have your way. I only hope that when our heroes are angry with us, Athens may suffer from the anger of Hercules and, and Thebes only from that of Theseus. The Goat Herd and the Goat a goat herd was one day gathering his flock to return to the fold when one of his goats strayed and refused to join the rest. He tried for a long time to get her to return by calling and whistling to her, but the goat took no notice of him at all. So at last he threw a stone at her and broke one of her horns. In dismay he begged her not to tell his master, but she replied, You silly fellow, my horn would cry loud even if I held my tongue. It is no use trying to hide what can't be hidden. The Sheep and the Dog Once upon a time, the sheep complained to the shepherd about the difference of his treatment of themselves and his dog. Your conduct, said they, is very strange and we think very unfair. We provide you with wool and lambs and milk and you give us nothing but grass, and even that we have to find for ourselves. But you get nothing at all from the dog and yet you feed him with tidbits from your own table. Their remarks were overheard by the dog, who spoke up at once and said, Yes, and quite right too. Where would you be if it wasn't for me? Thieves would steal you, wolves would eat you, indeed, if I didn't keep constant watch over you. You would be too terrified to even graze. The sheep were obliged to acknowledge that he spoke the truth, and never again made a grievance of, of the regard which he was held by his master.